in this problem uh, we will be discussing that a series RLC circuit is there and the values are given of the series RLC circuit the voltage and the frequency is given and we have to find the voltage current equations circuit impedance circuit current power factor and the phasor diagram we have to draw so let us solve it so as uh, uh, it is saying that so there is a series RLC circuit so there is a series resistance inductance and a capacitance is there and it is connected to a AC source what are the values given so this is 12 ohm inductance is 0 0.15 Henry and the capacitance is given as 100 microfarad question is given and the voltage is given as VRMS is equals to 100 volt and the frequency is given as 50 Hertz we have to find the voltage and current equations Okay, so voltage equation we can directly write so V is equals to Vm sin omega t if we take the voltage as reference so my 0 phase degree so here Vm is how much 100 into root 2 why 100 into root 2 because your Vm is equals to Vrms into root 2 so into sin of omega t so if we do 100 into root 2 100 into root 2 so that is 141.4 sine of omega t so omega is how much 2 pi f so 2 so 2 into 3.14 into t okay so 2 into 3.14 into 50 hertz so that is 314 t now this is my equation for voltage to find the equation for current so to find the equation for current i m sin omega t minus whatever phase plus or minus whatever phase difference will get it so what we need so that is equals to v m sin of omega t divided by z so we need to find what is the value of z now how to find that so z is equals to r plus j xl we know that is equals to r plus j whole into xl minus xc so we have to find individual xl and xc values so what is the xl value so xl value is dependent on the inductance that is equals to omega into c that is equals to omega is how much 314 that is what we have calculated here 314 into sorry omega into l l is how much 0 0.15 so 314 into 0.15 and the value is equals to 47.1 ohm what is the value of xc is equals to 1 by omega c that is equals to 1 by 314 into c c is how much 100 microfarad 100 power minus 6 if we calculate this so 1 divided by 314 into 100 power minus 6 yeah so uh, so so you're not 100 power minus 6 it is 100 into 10 power minus 6 okay then the value is equals to 31.84 ohms and the r value we know so what is z now so z is equals to r value is 12 so z is equals to 12 plus j whole into xl minus xc that is 47.1 minus 31.84 so that is equals to 47.1 minus 31.84 minus 47.1 minus 31.84 so 15 so 12 plus j 15.26 okay now this can also be written in polar format so how to write that so for uh, polar format we need to convert this to polar form the values are 12 and 15.26 so in polar form it will be 19.4 with angle of 51.81 okay so that is what you got now we can find what is the value of im so what is that 
now i is equals to v so v is 141.4 sin of omega t minus 0 divided by so here we are getting 19.4 with phase angle of 51.8 okay so uh, here this can be represented as its phase angle at 0 so that is equals to how much 141.4 divided by 19.4 so that will be equals to your So, that will be 7.28 at angle of minus, so minus 51.81. So, this is my current here. Okay. So, next we have to find what is the, uh, calculate the total circuit impedance, the circuit current we have calculated and then the power factor and draw the voltage phase diagram ok so next power factor so what will be the power factor here power factor is the cosine angle so it is what it is it so this is your angle minus 51.81 so power factor is cosine angle of the uh, phase difference between voltage and current so that is coming at how much so minus 51.81 this can be written in this form 7.28 sin of 314t minus 51.81 like this it can be written power factor is equal to cosine of phi that is equals to cos of how much minus 51.81 so if you find this uh, cos of minus 51.81 so that is 0 0.619 okay this is the power factor so next we will find the individual voltage values and current values so this is 0.2 so if we find individual voltage and current values so first vr so vr will be equals to how much the current into the resistance okay so that is equals to so total uh, voltage drop across this you can find uh, this current is actually taken as the rms current because maximum current we cannot take because it is time dependent so that we cannot find so to find the absolute value we need the rms current rms current will be again how much 7.28 divided by root 2 into r value is given how much 12 into 12 that is equals to how much 7.28 divided by root 2 so 5.14 into 12 so that is 61.7 volts 61.7 volts next is voltage drop across the inductance if we calculate again same i so this value on i or no how much this value is 5.14 so i'll write 5.14 into xl so xl is how much 47.1 that is 51.14 into 47.1 so that will be equals to 51.14 into 47.1 oh this is not uh, sorry so this is 5.14 into 47.1 so 5.14 into 47.1 so that is equals to 242.09 uh, 
volt next your vc i'll cross the capacitor same 5.14 into xc so that is equals to 5.14 into xc we got how much 31.84 31.84 so that is equals to 5.14 into 31.84 so that is 163.65 volts okay so this is the voltage across resistance voltage across inductance voltage across capacitance next what we have to do we have to find out the phasor diagram so how to do the phasor diagram so let me just do the phasor diagram here so phasor diagram so we are going to represent the phasor diagram as like this so first this is what this is your vr so vr uh, let me take other color it's not properly visible uh, this black okay so first is your vr so vr is how much vr is equals to 61.7 volt 61.7 volt next is your i'll take vl so vl value is how much so vl value is here so that is equals to 242.09 so vl will be here so that is 242.09 so this is your vl so why vl i have done like this because vl leads the resistance by 90 degree so i have vl is like this now this one here it is vc and the value is how much vc value is 163 163.65 okay so in this figure again what i can do so i can represent so here i can represent this one as vl minus vc okay so that will be equals to 242.09 minus 163.65 that is equals to 242.09 minus 163.65 so that is 78.44 so here 78.44 and if i connect this one then i should get this angle how much this angle will be your effective angle so this effective angle is 51.51.81 okay this is what we will get now this is what this is the supply voltage that is equals to 100 volt the rms value is 100 volt so this is how you can draw the phasor diagram for this particular problem what else the question is asking so this much only up to phasor diagram we have to find okay so in this video that's it and uh, some other video will be discussing some other problem thank you